So in this episode of I'm a 3D artist, do I still have a job? We've got 3dfi.ai, and this apparently will make quality 3D models with a text prompt. So let's take a look. So first of all, we're told this is ethical AI, so people can use this without copyright or ethical concerns in terms of where the content came from anyway. And then there's a get start now button. You do have to sign up, but you're greeted with these options, which are pretty limited, it's got to be said. But obviously this is just the start. An expensive table made of marble with wooden legs, and then generate. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that took a fair bit of time. Let's see if it was worth it. I'll zoom into my model using the wheel of the mouse and rotate with the left mouse button. It's not a bad model. There's a texture seam there and some sort of glitching. I'm not particularly keen on the wood texture. Let's look at the wireframe. Really dense down here, but I suppose if you're doing architectural visualization, you might not worry too much, but it's not so great for games if you've got lots of these objects. The topology isn't awful, but it's not great. And yes, we can see some sort of issue there with the topology. Okay, so there's one example of a model. How much will it cost me? Well, any one download of a model is $5 and you get 10 generations to kind of find your one download. Five downloads, $15, 40 downloads, $80, and so forth. So I would say out of the AI tools I've used, this is very expensive, but if you were to employ someone to do this and make that table, it would probably cost you a little bit more. But at the moment, you could buy a model of that quality online for probably slightly less than this. So currently my job is safe, but I think this is the start of things to come. Let me know what you think in the comments below.